I remember one day we were walking home from uh, lunch. It was winter and I was like, thinking in my head, we were holding hands while walking. I was like, oh, this is gonna suck when we break up because I really like this guy. Like, this is gonna suck. Like, I know mom and dad were high school sweethearts, but what are the chances that we're gonna be? So I just think that's so funny to look back on because like, here we are now. I kind of chased after him a little bit because he already had a girlfriend, so I was, I was a little bit pushy, but him and his girlfriend broke up, and two months later, um, I asked him out, and he said yes, and we've been together ever since for the last 10 years. I'm someone who, growing up, I was like, I'm pretty sure for every guy, I'm like, this is the one, but the, the moment that I actually knew this was the one was, it was a night where we were playing in the snow, and like just outside and we went back in and we watched a movie and we're all cuddled up and I told him I loved him for the first time and that's definitely when I knew that like that he was like kind of the one for me I guess. We went on a Quebec City trip we were on the back terrace and we were eating and I could see the look in his eye it was the same look that whenever I asked him to be my boyfriend just the stone cold nervous face so I had kind of a feeling it was coming and then yeah he I don't even remember what he said because it was kind of a blur because of the, the adrenaline, but he got up out of his chair and went down on one knee and he asked me to marry him. So that's how that happened. Colin is my home. Like whenever I'm not with him, like, like I feel like a part of me is missing and stuff. And no matter where in the world we could be, like if he's there with me, then I feel at ease. I feel like he's my home, so. Laurel to me is just kind of everything at this point. Like she's my wife, gonna be my wife. She's my best friend. All I want to do is spend time with her. Like whenever we're we're not together, it's like okay, I'm ready to go home now. Like after a couple days, it's like two days is about the max, and it's like okay, I'm ready to go home. Like I need to be, I need to be with Laurel. We were 14 when we started dating, so it's like, and we were 22 when we got engaged. We'd been together eight years at that point. Like we knew each other pretty much, like grown up and had like actually grown into adults together from from teenagers so by grade 12 it was like okay we need to go to the same university and then we didn't get into the same university which was pretty hard and we we had to do long distance for a little while and it was it was really hard but then once we ended up kind of coming back together where she moved universities it was like okay like I definitely miss this and this makes me so much happier than being away from her like we definitely need to stay together because I don't know if I could do it with anyone else when you're dating it's like yeah there there could be like some doubt but once you're married it's like there's no doubt you guys are definitely together like like you're not leaving so we can we can actually face things together and know that we both have each other being with her for the rest of my life like that's i i'm ready for that i'm looking forward to see you coming down the aisle sweetie i know you're gonna look beautiful and i love you dear friends we have come together in the presence of god to witness the marriage of Colin and Laurel and to rejoice with them. They shall grow together and be united in that love as Christ is united with his church, his disciples. God our Father, source of our light, you have taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant to these your servants that loving one another they may continue in your love until their lives end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Jesus says, and yes, there is a bat. Just so we get it out there, it's there, and we'll all uh, we'll all do our best. All right, back to Jesus. <laughs> Colin, will you give yourself to Laura to be her husband? 
to love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. Laurel, will you give yourself to Colin to be his wife, to love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I will. It's my privilege to introduce to all of you, for the first time as a newly married couple, Colin and Laurel Harper. made my life better. You love deeply, selflessly, and unconditionally. It fills me with happiness knowing that Colin shares those same qualities. For the last 10 years, I have seen the two of you grow not only as individuals, but also as a couple. Colin, from day one, I knew that you were meant to be with Laurel. The way you look at her shows me just how much you love her. I am inspired by the bond the two of you share. My wish for you on this, your wedding day, is that you will continue to love each other as intensely as you have since the day you first met. Please raise a glass to Laurel and Colin as the next chapter of their lives begin. Cheers. <laughs> Me and Colin have been best friends uh, since elementary school ended up getting separated on either ends of the class. But luckily this meant that Colin and Laurel ended up sitting one in front of the other and he had all the time in the world to be able to speak to this lovely lady. Uh, you both are madly in love and have been for a long, long time. You've grown into adulthood together and I'm so happy you found each other so early in life. You know, there's an old saying that says any friendship that lasts over seven years is likely to be last a lifetime. Regardless of the twists and turns, ups and downs, no, you'll always have each other. I wish you the both the best in this next chapter of your lives together. I want to thank my, my beautiful wife for not leaving me at the altar. Just in case, I, was, I wasn't worried, but there's always the possibility. Just wanted to thank everyone again for coming, but I would like to, to give a toast at least to love to friendship and our new families, and of course to my beautiful wife, that I can actually call my wife now. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much.